Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we're sitting here on a swing on the front porch. Got my chime taken down because this wind blowing. You'd be hearing a lot of chiming. Hopefully you can hear the birds down there singing though. Be quiet for a second. I'm not making that much noise right now. But anyways, it's a beautiful day down here in the south. All the trees are starting to bloom out. Uh, it's about time to start planting some stuff. You know, we had a, some storms come through last night. It was windy. It rained. A lot of rain. Uh, we was lucky we didn't get no serious weather here. I haven't heard the news whether anybody in Alabama got any real serious weather. Uh, but I hadn't watched it this morning too much, so there you go. I have had a little Facebook time, but that's about it. YouTube, watched all our favorite YouTube channels. Watch Pete up there at just a few acres and do his little chores. He got no farm all up there, but he's uh, cleaning that thing up. He spent some money on it. It's going to be a nice tractor when he gets through with it. Uh, and I always enjoy his cows and He's fixing to get things kicked up, but he's in New York. And we, of course, we got Danny and Wanda down there in South Mississippi. They got things rolling. They got stuff coming up. And we're way, we're behind them. We're generally going to run two, three weeks behind them. We did last year. I've got a, as you can see over on the porch next to Buster Clyde. Buster, Buster Clyde, Buster Clyde. There you go. It'll give you a glance. We've got tomatoes up and peppers up. And they're ready to plant. Grew some seeds this year. Uh, which last year I grew a bunch of them seed. And I, I got them out a little too early. And I, just some late, a late cold weather. It wasn't the frost because it was actually in a building. But the cold weather just got them. So I'll wait a little while about putting them in the ground. All they, they want to be in the ground right now. Um, but um, it warmed up there for a while and they've shot up, you know, six, eight inches high. They need to be planted. I'm just not taking a chance of getting them out there too early this year like I did last year. But anyways, before I say too much, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to load us up and take us down the shop and get the doors open and uh, just uh, show you some changes I've made and directions I'm going. All right, everybody, we down at the shop. <sighs> kind of ready to get busy. Man, I want to get out there and garden and do something. We had a lot of rain last night, so not going to do nothing in the garden. It's got to dry out. Too wet right now. <sighs> well, the biggest change, just talking about some changes up there on the porch. The biggest change, I guess, we made is 140 is gone. <sighs> Sold it. Sold it. The disc, turning plow, everything. Got rid of the whole nine yards. And my plan going forward is a little cub right here. I've, I've managed to get me some cultivators on it. Took a little bit of work over at the bench, replacing one thing and another. I had one of them, the end of it was a had one of them down there. I don't see which one is. There's too much dirt on the end of it. Just wore out. Looked like they'd been running through the dirt with no plow on it. And uh, I cut it off and cut an end off another one. It looked pretty good. Welded it on there and got it fixed. And a little adjustment bolt on the back. I cut some of them out and replaced them and, and I got them where I could adjust them, change the angle of them. Uh, now, or it's just a little old spring tension on the back. Nah, that screw there is just not going to turn on, on on hardly any of them. And one or two might work, but that's about it. But yeah, this little old cub right here, it's, it's going to be my little sweetheart, I think, for the next few years. I think between it, Kubota, and, and I have really thought about buying me another little old tractor. Uh, you know, 4,000 or, or Ford 2,000 or 3,000. 
maybe Madison Ferguson, something like that, just for the garden. But, you know, what was that over saying? Less is more. Light, we down here at the shop. We got quite a few things to do. I'm gonna drop that motor on the back of that that boat. Got got the got the low mercury running pretty good. I'm gonna set it on the back of it and take it back to the stall it normally stays in. I got me three tires. Yeah, why three? Well, that's what I found on marketplace. Three used tires for my uh, for my Toyota Tacoma. Got the tire changer over there. Got so much stuff piled around it. It'll, it'll take 30 minutes to dig it out of the hole, I guess, over yonder. But my first thing today is I'm gonna bring my little old Toyota in, get the front tires off of it, get two, two, two fresh tires on the front. And I figure out which of the three, which of the four is the best on my Toyota. And I leave it on there and replace one of the other ones. And uh, that's a handy thing about having a tire changer. But uh, yeah, so let me get started here, and I'll uh, I'll try to shoot a little video long, just you know, getting this done. I don't want to say it's a how-to, but it's kind of like a uh, it's kind of a get let's get it done video. How about that? Well, all right, let me get busy.